Hello there! Now this video is going to be a demonstration video on how to make peace water. With my video that I shared a few days ago, um, A Simple Pagan Altar, I shared with you that I like to keep peace water on my altar and um, a couple of you had requested a demonstration video on how to make it and more information on what it is. So peace water is actually good to keep in your house because it brings a certain sense of tranquility and serenity and keeps troubles at bay. Now the mythology or the, the folklore behind peace water is that malevolent spirits are mesmerized by the action that it creates when you shake it. Um, you can see here the bottle that it's in. The bottom section is indigo water and there's a layer of clearer water and then that layer there of kind of a waxy, oily substance. Nice green, pretty I think. Um, so what happens, what you're supposed to do with it, I'm going to shake it here, shake it up and it creates kind of a lava lamp look to the whole thing and the malevolent spirits are said to be mesmerized by this floating action. Oh my, look at that. Hornet just flew in. Interesting. Very interesting. Let me just show the hornet. My peace water. See? He'll be fine. He'll leave us alone. <laughs> okay, so um, here we go. I'm going to show you how to make it. All right, so just a couple of thoughts on holy water. Now, we've all heard of holy water that has been blessed by the Catholic priest and, you know, used in the movie The Exorcist to dispel demons and evil spirits and all of that. Well, it's true. Holy water does exactly that. And it also does so much more. And... <laughs> It doesn't have to be blessed by a Catholic priest in order to be holy. Now these are my thoughts, but I am of the opinion that tap water can be holy water. First of all, I think that anything that you say it is can be what it is. Um, words are very powerful and you really do need to watch what you say because it will manifest in the world, um, in the physical plane. So. I believe tap water to be very holy, and the reason why is because, think about it, tap water is instantaneous, it is life-supporting energy, it is available to us 24-7, hot or cold, it is right there. Well, us being, at least us in, you know, North America or um, civilized countries, civilized, what am I saying? You know what I mean, you get what I'm saying. Um, industrialized I guess. <laughs> anyway, tap water is very holy indeed. It is a reminder of our abundance and gifts from the universe. It's there. It's life supporting. It's you know, it's available instantaneously and we should be so grateful and thankful that we have this resource available to us at our fingertips. So, anytime you drink tap water, you are drinking blessed holy water. Okay. Now the other thing about holy water, like I said, anything you say will manifest in the physical plane. So by claiming a jar of water as holy water, you are blessing it and it is taking on the properties of your intention. And if you don't believe me, check out Dr. Emoto's works that he and research that he's done on um, water being exposed to um, malevolent and beneficial forces within the universe and amazing stuff. Um, so yeah, so as far as holy water goes, holy water is water that you say is holy. And I'll have a little bit more to share. 
Okay, so the main ingredient for your peace water is indigo water. And indigo water is simply holy water that has been colored blue. True indigo water is uh, made with um, a dye that is found in, where is it found? I can't remember. The West Indies, I believe. Nowadays, you can find it at the Mexican um, Santeria stores, you know, the botanicas and stuff, and it's called anil. Anil is a, is a form of, it's like a powder dye, it comes in a ball shape, um, and it's highly protective in the metaphysical world. They're included in a lot of Mexican Santeria magic, and um, it's no mistake that indigo water, you know, the blue from the dye, you know, blue is highly protective, spiritually protective. So the main ingredient of your peace water, of course, indigo water. And how I made this was simply spring water with blue food coloring. Here's some other examples of some holy water that I've collected. Um, this is holy water from Braid Sacred Well in County Kildare, Ireland. I went there, had the opportunity to go there last November and collected it from the spring that runs there on the property and it was an amazing experience. I posted some videos, I think, yeah I did, I posted some photographs in another video on my channel so be sure to check that out. This is Witch's Element Water from the first thunderstorm of the season. It was collected just a couple of weeks ago and what makes it holy other than my saying so <laughs> is the fact that it was collected during a very powerful thunderstorm um, and it has been charged with all of the elements, earth, air, fire, and water, of course. It being water, fire from the thunder, air from the, uh, the storm itself, the winds that blew, um, and earth being it collected in a container that is made of earth particles. So anyway, um, two other examples of Alright, so I've tried to make this video twice now and have run either out of battery juice or time. <laughs> so I'm just going to take a quick shortcut and show you. This is tap water to which I'm adding blue food coloring. You can make it as light or as dark as you choose. Just mix it around a little bit. Let it settle. And then you take your oil. Sorry for the shakiness here. I've only got two hands, not four, that I really need. And then you just very carefully layer the oil on top, very slowly, and you'll start to see a nice, beautiful, tranquil layer start to appear on your jar. And that's it. That is your peace water. Isn't that beautiful? Let's get it over here. Now you can see the differences here. I ran out of olive oil, so I had to use almond oil on this one, which is fine. You can use, you know, whatever oil you want. Um, so yeah, have what you use what you have on hand. See that there, that there. Okay, so why does this one look so different than the others? Well, first of all. This bottle is two years old, and the oil has solidified, and it takes a while for it to settle after I shake it. If you um, have your your peace water around for a long time like I have, this one is two years old, um, you can simply put it in a warm oven, no higher than 200 degrees Fahrenheit, and just for a few moments, watch it very carefully. Um, stick it in the oven and it will start to separate and thin out and it will start to, it'll look like that again. But that's it. That's all you do. That's your peace water. Peace water is a really good thing to keep in the home to bring about a sense of serenity and tranquility to your surrounding environment. It is especially good and helpful in homes that may have experienced a sort of trauma or separation of some sort. 
I think Peace Water makes an excellent housewarming gift and house blessing. Um, use it in house blessings and healing spells. And anytime you feel like your sense of serenity has been taken away, just simply shake your bottle of Peace Water and gaze at it and feel the serenity coming back to you.